New at 10, we've learned neighbors helped police track down people suspected of being involved in a recent murder. William Campbell was already behind bars, and we brought you the arrest of Sarah Helton. And Jeremy Campbell is breaking news on Fox 23 News at 5. Fox 23, Sarah Whaley is live with what neighbors did that started a chase today. Several Sarah. of the neighbors told me that they spotted one of those suspects sat at home in their neighborhood. So they immediately called police, gave them a description of the car and the tag. Uh, the hunt is on then for that Jeep Cherokee. A six mile high speed chase through the streets of Tulsa has now landed a woman connected to a local murder investigation in jail. Police arrested the driver of this car, Sarah Helton, on Wednesday. They say Helton, Jeremy Campbell, and William Campbell all had a part in the July 5th shooting death of Craig Wingard. They've been on the run ever since. Several neighbors told me that they knew this entire time the trio wanted in this murder case was hiding out in this house. You can't go to bed. You lay there awake wondering what's going on. We aren't identifying this woman and are altering her voice to protect her. She says people living in her neighborhood near Pine and North Joplin alerted police to Helton's whereabouts. One of the neighbors has called when they saw something. Sergeant Dave Walker says they had officers immediately in the area to track Helton. She got on Pine, went west on Pine, saw all the police cars and the chase was on at that time. Helton finally crashed near 31st in Harvard. Walker says at the same time that was happening, officers arrested Jeremy Campbell as he tried to leave the hideout house in a cab. Detectives had already arrested William Campbell, the suspected killer in the case, last week. He's only 17. I was shocked to death to find out he was wanted for murder. William Campbell is in jail tonight, accused of the murder. Helton, accused of accessory after the fact. And Jeremy Campbell is in, accused of aiding and embedding. Now, as far as a motive goes in this murder, police believe that Helton stole something from the eventual murder victim when he tried to go back and get it. That's when he was shot and killed. Reporting live in East Tulsa tonight, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.